Uh, good afternoon, so I'm here with a new pistol which I got from the British Shooting Show yesterday and this is the race gun set from Umrex. So it comes like that with a red dot and we're, uh, it's quite a lot to look, to look at so I'm going to try and hang, uh, not hang around. So what you've got, you've got uh, two manuals, I'm not going to go through them, we've got one for the actual pistol itself and one for the actual red dot that comes with it. I've actually fitted the red dot and I've done a bit of target, sort of semi rested at 10 yards to see how she shoots. Been tweaking the actual red dot across a little bit, not quite dead right yet but it's, it's sort of slightly to very very slightly to the right so you've got your magazine holds 21 shots locks down there you've got a tab at the bottom for putting your co2 in seems to be very reliable these, these sort of designs are reliable the way it works is it pushes the bb forward pushes the bb out the actual guide into the barrel and fires it through the gas at the back for the piston um, the seal at the back okay so that's how that works it also comes with uh, two right, fully adjustable rear sights. Yeah, so you've got a true glow there and a standard one there. Yeah, adjustable for uh, elevation and windage. Uh, I did fit these, and this is quite a nice tight fit into the dovetail. And also, it gives a quite good, very good sight picture with the true glow foresight, which is a red foresight. So I think I should probably use that when I test it with without the actual red dot on. Okay. Also, you get your two Allen keys here, uh, there for adjusting the red dot, also for adjusting the actual rear sights, and also the big one is for actually fitting the red dot and for taking the rail off, yeah, because there's six screws that hold the rail on. Okay, so that is actually all the bits and pieces. So going on to the pistol, now working from the rear. Now, you've got a nice beaver dovetail here, so you can tuck, tuck your fingers underneath. Uh, you've got a dovetail here where you actually you put your sights into, uh, but you to take that out, you have to have the slide fully rearwards like that, hold it back, because there's a block in underneath here that stops you taking it out. Uh, so even if it came loose, it couldn't fall out because you, it won't allow you to. So you've got to actually pull it all the way back, undo that little screw and then put, screw it and, and take it out the dovetail, okay? So you've got a, a cocking aid here when you've got the rail fitted and you can actually unscrew that and put it in from the other side. So you've got ambidextrous safety both sides, yeah? So that's great. So if you're left or right-handed, you've got a red dot that side. So you can also move the cocking aid over the side if you're the lefty. Okay, that's really good. Um, trigger wise, it's a plastic trigger, polymer trigger, but it goes nicely. You, that's like a first stage. There's a little click, yeah, and then it goes. And it's really, really precise, yeah. Uh, all, everything else is all metal apart from the actual grips. They're, they're nicely shaped and contoured, yeah. And if you've got like, I've got medium hands, so it looks about perfect for me. Um, you know, you probably get, if you've got slightly bigger hands, it'll be okay. You've got a lower rail, okay. Now, the blowback isn't massive. It locks back, obviously, last shot locks back there. So, it, it doesn't actually travel back a lot, you can see from the dovetail. So, the actual blowback is relatively short, but it's very crisp. If I release it now, like that, really solid. Um, foresight, yeah, that's your foresight. It's the true glow. It's actually orange, I think. It looks orange. Uh, but the barrel is a nice length. It's about six and a half inches long, sixteen hundred. Sorry, six hundred. Sorry, one hundred and sixteen millimeters. I'll get this bloody right in a minute. Okay. Um, your dot that comes with it. Yeah. Um, this is uh, adjustable at the top. You've got uh, elevation and wind is that side. It gives you a little arrow there, so it says arrow to the right and arrow to the up, so you know which way to turn it to adjust it, which is really nice. Uh, single mounting point there. Just screw it in there. It actually is a green dot, so it's just two positions, so that's off. You've got a little side switch here. So if I flick it to one position, there's the first one, see? And the second position is slightly brighter, and they work really well, okay? Did try it, shooting it, um, semi rest at 10 yards, using those dots, different, different positions, and the lower light position is actually a bit more precise, the actual dot is. Um, it's not glaring as much, so it seems to be a bit more accurate. Um, battery goes in the side here. It's a 2032 battery, you know, normal flat battery. Uh, so yeah, really nice, really nicely made. The actual I'll just show you a bit. So this is all plastic. You can take this off and clip it and take it off the back. Yeah, trigger. Like I said, little click, and it goes nicely. Uh, you can remove this and fit your rear sights on. Take your six screws up here and lift the rail off. Take the rail off. Now underneath here, when you take the rail off, obviously those six screws holes are exposed. There's a bit, little bit of like marking on them, yeah, where you can see the metal, bare metal. 
just get a black felt tip or something, that's what I'm going to do and just mark over them. I should probably take the rail off and shoot it with a standard sight for quite a while because I can see pretty well my, my shooting glasses and I think this sits nicely in that fixed. The non-glow, this standard one here, it, that uh, foresight glow sits right, really nice in that. Yeah, it's, it looks really perfect. There's hardly any gap on either side of the actual true glow, so I reckon it'll be pretty accurate once you set it up because it's got windy elevation as well. So that's that side of it. So that's all metal. Uh, turn it around here. Let me just show you the actual whole pistol. So that's the actual name. Uh, the actual well, green dot is all alloy, really nicely made. Not no, not plastic. The only plastic thing is the actual battery compartment thing that released there uh, everything else is all metal so uh, really nice so yeah really nice it weighs uh 1202 grams with the actual red dot fitted uh did chronograph it as well from new using obviously the umrex uh 5.35 um grain bbs so it's pretty efficient uh six six fps over 10 shots that was giving a a uh, 30 second interval allow the co2 to recover Weight, yeah, trigger pull was 3.5 pounds, so that's decent for, you know, a, a, a basically a, a plinker. Uh, looking at the targets I did, which I did like semi-rested at 10 yards, um, obviously I was adjusting the red dot here. So the first target here, all 21 shots apart from the final one. See these low ones here, I dial, had to dial the actual red dot up to cross there. They started to group there, okay. Then the next one, the next for, uh, 21 shots, yeah. Moved around probably a little bit, but it's still sort of grouping slightly to the right. Probably could do a bit more dying across, and that sort of confirmed it with the actual final one there. So that was 63 shots, and it shot them really nicely. Uh, didn't have any issues with the, the blowback stopping. So it really is quite efficient on CO2 for a blowback, because a lot of them will only do about you know, 50 shots, 55 shots. This did 63, no problem. And I did do seven more on its own after that, uh, just to see when the actual CO2 would drop off. So these are the final seven shots. Yeah, semi rested and you see where they started to drop off down the bottom there. And then the blowback slowed down and so it, it was getting to the point where it was gonna stop. So you're looking at three, four magazines and then really you, it's, better, it's time to change really. Okay, so that is the unboxing review of this uh, race gun as they call it um yeah it's really nice it sits in my meaning my palm i'm going to like do an outdoor shoot with the red dot fitted and then i'm going to take the rail off take the red dot fit a the standard uh non non uh glow non glow sight th this one because i found this dovetail here fits really nicely in there it's not a nice firm fit uh obviously you've got a little just, just locking screw a little grub screw in the behind there and that takes it up and down and you've got a little just the left and right as well if you want to adjust the windage. Same with same with the other one, okay. Uh, but to get to the actual because that's true glow, you've got to take that screw all the way out. There's a little spring in there, be careful when you undo that all the way to get to the locking screw underneath. Because you don't want your little spring going ping and you're losing it. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that that's alright if you want true glow front and back. But I think these these standard ones with the true glow at the front only, I, I prefer them. Okay, it's totally up to you, you know, how you want it. Or you can just stay, stay with the red dot. So that is the, uh, it's got a nice feel to it. Yeah, nice decent length barrel. So it's, it's pretty accurate for a, a BB shooter. And like the energy wise, like, like you said, when I, when I tested it, it was doing, a, it was averaging 1.79 foot pounds of energy, which was a 389 FPS, which is pretty good. Pretty good for a, a, a CO2 blowback. So I hope you like that little unboxing review. Uh, to say thanks to everybody I met at the shooting show yesterday, you know, some of the guys came up to me and said, recognise me, you know, it's terrible really. But uh, yeah, I had quite a long chat with a lot of them, yeah, and uh, learned a few things, saw a few new guns that seemed quite interesting. Uh, I think Webley had brought out a new rifle, uh, uh, Eagle, I think, it, Eagle it's called, yeah, it looked quite nice and affordable, yeah, budget sort of £500-ish. And also, I think uh, Arkin had a new thermal, stroke night vision scope you know you can, it's a dual scope for and they're looking at around about a thousand which you keep which would be really good really good i might have to look at that when it comes out so i hope you like the video have a great weekend and thanks for watching
Ah, uh, good afternoon. So this is a little bit of additional video for the race gun that I got from uh, the shooting show yesterday. So what I did, I did a little bit of a tweak on the red dot and brought it across. So that's 21 shots. Semi rest at 10 yards. So that's a pretty good group. Shot it pretty rapidly. So obviously the CSU dropped off, which would account for the actual BBs dropping off the target. Then before it started to absolutely hoof it down with rain, I went out and did 21 shots freestanding at 10 yards. Again, shot them pretty rapidly. Pulled uh, probably two or three to the to the left, but the rest you can see nice and central. So yeah, this is definitely shooting straight. So as soon as the weather improves, we'll be outside for some proper target shooting. Take care and thanks for watching.